Hello, and welcome to the UMKC Pre-Licensure BSN session. This is our beautiful campus that is located on the Health Sciences campus at 2464 Charlotte. Our building is called the Health Sciences Building. We share it with nursing, pharmacy, public health, and health sciences. Across the street is the dental school, and next door is the UMKC Medical School, as well as nearby is the Kansas City Health Department, Children's Mercy Hospital, and Truman Medical Center. If you ever have any questions, feel free to contact us at any time by calling 816-235-1700 or email us at umkc-nurses at umkc.edu. Why choose UMKC nursing? One of the most important things is that we have a three-year clinical program. Most schools have only a two-year clinical program. We have over 1,000 clinical lab hours and most schools have eight or 900. So when you graduate from the UMKC pre-licensure BSN program, you'll have an entire extra year of clinical practice. We have many post BSN degrees, such as DNP, such as family health, women's health, neonatal, pediatric, and certified registered nurse anesthetist, as well as a PhD and a nurse educator program. We're a public university, so potentially we have lower costs than other BSN programs in the area. We also have a direct admit option for students who come directly from high school to UMKC if you have a 27 or higher ACT score. We'll talk more about that in a moment. We have a diverse clinical setting. So we have our students go to urban, rural, and suburban hospitals. And we have great customer and student support services at UMKC. This is the structure of our program. Again, it's a three-year clinical. So your first year, you spend taking the prerequisite courses. You apply to UMKC under Health Science Plan to be RN, and you finish your six prerequisites, which we'll talk about in a minute, as well as some general education courses. You then apply between November of January each year, and if accepted, you start the three-year clinical and your major changes to the Bachelor of Science in Nursing with the subplan of pre-licensure. When you're done with this degree, you'll have your BSN, and this will allow you to sit for the NCLEX RN exam to get your RN license. For the past few years, UMKC has had over a 95% NCLEX first-time pass rate. Your general education courses for the most part are taken on the Volcker campus, which is the picture at the top. That is located around 52nd and Rock Hill Road. Some prerequisites and all of your nursing courses are taken on the Health Sciences campus. That's our building below. Here are some lists of our clinical sites. Simulation training will take place in the Health Sciences building and then clinical training will take care place at several hospitals such as Children's Mercy, KU Med, Liberty, Lee Summit, North Kansas City, Olathe Research, St. Joseph, St. Luke's, Shawnee Mission, Truman, etc. We have around 70 spots for our pre-licensure program each fall. Again, the application always comes out in November and is always due in January. You apply by January of the year that you will have the prerequisites completed. So if you're still in high school, you don't apply for the clinical program while you're in high school. You wait till you're at least a freshman in college. If you're a transfer student and you will have the prerequisites completed by January, then you would apply, I'm sorry, if you will have the prerequisites completed by May of the year you wish to apply, and start, then you can go ahead and apply by January. So for instance, if you want to start the program in fall 2021, you must have the prerequisites completed by May 2021. 
These are the requirements for our program. You must have all six prerequisites, which I'll tell you what those are in a minute, completed by May of the year you're applying with a B minus or higher. You must have a GPA of 2.75 or higher. Higher is always better for nursing. GPA is the most important thing. So I recommend a 3.5 or higher, but 2.75 or higher is the requirement. This is your cumulative GPA. That's every course you've ever taken, even if you've repeated courses. Your prerequisite GPA, that's the six courses, as well as any UM system courses you have. You also have to take a test called the Test of Essential Academic Skills, also known as the T's, and receive a 60 or higher. You'll write a personal statement, provide a resume, and have 30 hours of direct patient interaction in a healthcare facility. Some places you might think about volunteering are the Medical Reserve Corps of Kansas City or KC Care Clinic. You can volunteer in a hospital, a nursing home, or at hospice, just as long as you're in the vicinity of an RN and that you're interacting with patients, such as talking with them or reading to them, things like that. If you have a CNA, that will also count. These are the six prerequisites. Again, you must have a B minus or higher in them, and they need to be completed by May of the year that you wish to start the clinical program. You can go to transferology.com to see which courses will transfer. You must make sure your courses are equivalent to the UMKC courses. The six prerequisites are anatomy and physiology with lab. At UMKC, it's a two semester course. It's eight credits, so we recommend having at least eight credits. You must also have chemistry with lab and microbiology. The three sciences, numbers one, two, and three, cannot be older than five academic years. You also need pre-calculus algebra or college algebra, nursing 101, and health sciences 101. Health Sciences 101 can be waived for transfer student, students who have over 60 college credits and at least a 3.5 or higher GPA. Nursing 101, for the most part, needs to be taken at UMKC, although University of Central Missouri and MU also have equivalent courses. Applying is a two-step process. Again, you apply generally to UMKC under Health Science Plan to be an RN. You're admitted under BHS pre-nursing. You then complete your prerequisites, however many you need to complete at UMKC or transfer them in and apply with the clinical nursing application between November and January of the year you know you'll have your prerequisites completed. What makes a competitive application? Make sure you complete your application on time. Make sure your nursing GPAs are 2.75 or higher, but higher is always better. Make sure that your prerequisite grades are B minus or higher. Please have a very clear, well-written essay and make sure you follow the directions. Have a professional resume. Have the 30 hours of direct patient interaction from the past two years and have a tease of 60 or higher. I would say the two most important things are the GPA. That's the very most important thing. So always higher is better and your essay, following directions and having a clear, well-written essay. The other things are important, but those two are the most important. Here's a bit about the direct admit program. So if you're in high school and you have a 27 or higher comp ACT score, then you can apply to pre-nursing under health science plan to be RN and spend your first year as a pre-nurse taking the prerequisites. As long as you successfully complete your first year with the B minus or higher in your grades and a 2.75 GPA, then you will have a spot in our three-year clinical program starting your sophomore year. You can apply by June 15th of your senior year in high school. Just go to our website at sonhs.umkc.edu and look for the direct admit page on there and you can apply from there. 
This is what our four year clinical program looks like. Fall semester year one and spring semester year one, the classes with three stars are the prerequisites. So you have to have those completed by the end of the spring semester year one in order to apply for the three year clinical. Fall semester and spring semesters year two, three, and four are the actual clinical program. The classes with the one star are the clinical courses. The courses that are in yellow are the UMKC general education core. Those can be moved around and taken while you're in the clinical program or before you're in the clinical program. They're not prerequisites, so you do not have to have them completed to apply to the program. The one exception is the Math 110 because that is also a prerequisite and must be completed to apply to the program. Please go to the UMKC Cashiers website at this website below to see the tuition. Remember there's 128 credits for the degree, so you can multiply that through the fee estimator on the cashier's website. If you have any transfer and test credit, be sure that you have that directly sent from the testing site to UMKC admissions. You can go to the registrar's page here to find out what scores are required for advanced placement International Baccalaureate and CLEP. UMKC has some nursing scholarships. You have to go to the financial aid website to apply and there are some automatic UMKC scholarships as well. You can also check these other scholarship websites. Thank you for joining me and I hope it was informative. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us here and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have.